Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the UV transfer tool for the SkinGen plugin in Character Creator 3. Now just so you're aware, this uh, transfer tool needs to be purchased separately. Um, it has the ability to basically transfer uh, decals such as tattoos and scars and stuff uh, from DAS to Character Creator uh, using these tools. Um, these uh, isolated effects can be further adjusted uh, via color and, and RTS settings. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, now keep in mind that it's only available for DAS G8 and G3 characters at this time. Okay, so on the screen right now you can see we have this uh, beautiful uh, tattooed uh, model on our screen. Um, if we go into our DAS shop here, let's go ahead and take a look at where this came from. We can just search up uh, tattoo and you can see there's a whole variety of uh, tattoo options for you here. Now DAS uses what's called the layered image editor, uh, which allows you to transfer the different layers of, a, of an image uh, separately, which we'll see a little bit later. You can see we're gonna use this volume 13 unlucky tattoos, um, some pretty hardcore tattoos here. Um, now with the layered image editor, you have the ability to of course modify, scale and rotate these uh, tattoos. Um, so in back in Character Creator 3 here, you can see on the right here in, in the uh, modify panel, we have all the UV transfer tools uh, lined up there. Um, now, if you import one of these uh, layered image editor characters with the transformer tool, it's gonna flatten that, those textures. Um, so you can see here, uh, once you import it with the transformer tool, it's gonna look like this, where the text on, or the, the tattooing on the body is combined in one single layer with the skin. Now, uh, the original texture in DAS is gonna look more like this. So you're gonna have the, um, the text separately on a separate layer and the skin on a separate layer so you can uh, transform and modify them on completely separate layers. Now in order to do this, um, via the, if you're using the transform tool, transformer tool, in order to bring this, uh, have this capability in Character Creator 3, you're going to need to uh, use the UV transfer tool. So you can see here if I transform, uh, we've already done this, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it a little bit later. But you can see if I scale, I adjust the scale and I adjust the, uh, the width and the height, of uh, that stomach tattoo, now I can modify it separately from the skin on the character's body. And this is the uh, ideal end state that we want to achieve. Uh, we can obviously uh, modify the offset as well and uh, the rotation and all that fun stuff. So now in Daz, what we're gonna do is we're going to just uh, simply show you how to apply those uh, materials to our character's skin. You can see the uh, volume 30 unlucky tattoos here um, over in our smart content. And let's just click and drag uh, something like this uh, arm one over here onto our character. And you can see once we uh, apply that, the tattoo will appear on our character's arm. We can uh, zoom in here and get a little bit of a closer look. Looking pretty, pretty sweet already. Got a nice tattoo sleeve going on there. Uh, we're gonna add a bit more tattoos later because we wanna show uh, a couple of uh, examples of how to, how to uh, transfer this into Character Creator 3 using the uh, UV transfer tool. So if you uh, browse to the file of your of your uh, texture here, you can find it um, here. Now um, it has the DUF file, uh, of course. Now we need to find the original textures um, for this material. So let's go back here. It's gonna be in your runtime folder. So you're gonna have to go uh, back a few, uh, few folders back into your runtime folder into textures. And we'll go into the folder here. Uh, we'll find the uh, arm uh, tattoo here. Okay, which is this one right here. You can see this is the uh, tattoo that's applied onto our character's uh, entire arm. Now back in Character Creator 3, what we want to do is we want to apply that texture onto our character's arm. So let's go over here to our skin, uh, our skin section rather, and to the uh, Skin Gen Tools. And in Skin Gen Tools, you will find the UV Transfer Tool uh, right here. Again, this needs to be purchased separately, so if you haven't purchased it, you won't be able to see this. And you can see the different folders here. We have the DAS G3 female, uh, G3 male, G8, and G8 uh, male and female. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we need to make sure that we're, since we're applying it to our character's arm, you can see we have a DAS uh, Genesis fe uh, 8 female arm. We need to send, set our material to arm over here in the material editor, okay? And then transfer that tool, just to simply apply it to our character, and that'll uh, load up one UV transfer tool in our uh, uh, column here, okay? So if we select that, what we need to do is transfer that uh, JPEG over into the base color uh, map there, base color channel. And it'll pip, uh, pop up like uh, white, just like this. And that's because the uh, blend mode hasn't been set correctly. It's a JPEG, so it's not semi-transparent, or it's not transparent rather. So what we need to do is we need to go up into our blend mode and change the blend mode from normal. 
Uh, we're going to change it from normal to multiply. You can see that will now go away. And we have the tattoo looking exactly like it did in Daz. And that's transferred using the transfer tool. Let's bring in another arm here and do the other arm. Okay, so now we're going to have this UV transfer with a uh, zero in parentheses. And we're just going to simply apply that uh, other texture from the other arm onto our character. Now you can do this as many times as you want. Um, right now we're doing it on the arms because we're only focusing on the arms. Again, we're going to have to transfer the blend mode from normal back into multiply. Okay, and now you can see we have the tattoos on both arms and they're placed correctly. Um, despite the uh, Daz 8 Genesis 8 and character creator characters having totally different UV maps. Okay, so that's one of the main benefits of this tool. Is you can consolidate the UV maps. Let's do the body next here. So we're going to go change to uh, body material. And you can see there's a number of uh, tattoos on the body. In this case, there's uh, three separate tattoos on our character's body. Uh, that's the stomach and the ones on the side uh, right there. Now let's deconstruct the differences in UVs here. Uh, you can see that where the tattoos are on the Daz character's body here using these commercialization images. And you can see the textures. Um, for example, uh, we're in the runtime folder here again. Um, this uh, chest tattoo here, this one corresponds with the tattoo uh, on our character's chest right there. So if you zoom in a little bit, you can see it uh, see it better. Okay, now of course we need to make sure that this is applied in the exact same area um, as it is on your Daz character, uh, on your character creator 3 character. Um, so let's take a quick look at the difference in UV maps. You can see that the Daz UV map is slightly different than the character creator one, uh, uh, UV map. Again, the uh, head on the character creator map uh, is, is uh, different from the Daz uh, UV. Um, the, the legs are fairly, fairly similar, but basically the only difference is the shoulders, um, the chest, and the head areas. Um, so this can get complicated when you're trying to uh, transfer UVs over, as you can uh, probably guess. So what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of show you how to transfer over tattoos that kind of go into different parts of the UV. So this one, for example, goes into the shoulders, uh, the arms, the chest, and the head section uh, of our, of our uh, Character Creator 3 uh, UV map. Okay, so it goes into the shoulder there. You can see the chest and the uh, and the right arm and also the head. So we're going to need to apply three separate UV tools um, to make sure that chest tattoo gets accurately placed and we can modify it separately. We want to apply the tattoo using the back skull tool instead of the face tool here because only the back skull tool contains the UV of the neck and chest while the face tool doesn't. So again, this is a Genesis 8 female character. Just simply be aware of that. Let's go over to our materials here again. Uh, make sure the editor is active. And we're going to change. We're going to start off with the head first. Okay. So there is a, D, a Daz Genesis 8 uh, head. Uh, it's all called the uh, back. It's called the uh, back skull. Okay. You can see the UV transfer tool pops up. And we're going to transfer that uh, map over onto the base color channel of our back skull. Okay. You can see it'll pop up with the uh, white face here again. Uh, okay, and there's the uh, there's the tattoo. So only part of it is visible because we've only transferred it over um, to the head. Okay, and of course we need to change our blend mode back into multiply to get it to show properly. All right, and there we go. So now we have to do the arms and the uh, the body. Okay, so uh, you can see here we're gonna do the the other uh, three right here. Um, a lot of text on that tattoo. So now let's change from the head to the body. Okay, and we're going to repeat the same process. But this time we're going to use the uh, body tool, Daz G8 body tool. Okay, transfer that over to our character. And basically the same process. What we need to do is uh, select that UV transfer tool and click and drag that same tattoo over into the base color channel. And uh, you can see now it's placed correctly. And we need to change to the blend mode to multiply. And there we go. Okay, so now the only two left are the shoulders. Okay, so this is where it can get complicated, like I mentioned. You know, the dad's shoulders are different from the character creator shoulders. So what the UV transfer tool does is it consolidates those and it harmonizes them so you can transfer one uh, to the next without having to do any sort of complicated, annoying modifications. So same procedure here. We're going to transfer the uh, uh, shoulder uh, UV transfer tool over and apply that same uh, texture map to our base color and uh, change, change the blend mode to multiply. Okay, and uh, we've done both the uh, shoulders there. Okay, pretty cool. So the shoulder uh, tool will do both shoulders simultaneously. Just be aware of that. And there we have all the uh, textures nicely placed on our character's body. 
Let's take a look at our character's lips now. And this time we're going to use a G3 texture. So the cool thing is we can actually take G3 uh, materials and G8 materials and apply them both onto the same character creator character. Okay, so this time we're going to go back into our uh, runtime folder. We just have this simple uh, lipstick uh, makeup, um, extreme close-up makeup for Genesis 3 females. Okay, uh, nothing too complicated about this. Just a couple of channels, a masking channel and a blend channel. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, you can see it's a Jazz Genesis uh, 3 female. So we're going to apply this to the same character. And as you can see here, you can apply G3 content and G8 content uh, with the G3 and G8 tools in Character Creator and consolidate them onto the same Character Creator 3 plus character. All right. So it's a really useful tool um, if you have a lot of Daz content. So let's go to our UV transfer and rename it here on our, on our uh, head. We're going to change this to uh, G8 female uh, back skull. Okay. And then we'll go down here and apply the G3 uh, face. Okay. So the G3 face, we're going to rename that one as well. We're going to rename it to uh, G3 female and lips. Okay. So we have a separate one for the back skull and the lips. Now for the lips, all I'm going to do is simply bring in that uh, PNG of the uh, lips. And it's going to just paste itself on our character's lips. Uh, looking okay, but obviously can be improved significantly. Uh, and that's going to be using the uh, different maps here. So let's go ahead and find the uh, mask. Okay, and this is in the DAS resource folder there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the uh, mask uh, texture map now and apply that to the opacity channel. And once we do that, we get a little bit of a blend, okay, because the mask has sort of a faded effect on it. And we can further modify that um, using things like the uh, offset as well. Okay, we can modify that just slightly if we want. We can change the scale and all that stuff too. But in this case, we're going to just uh, leave it as is. And let's go to the texture settings here uh, in the opacity channel. We can also modify these lips further using our materials. Uh, we, we can use the opacity. We can change the opacity of the uh, of the lipstick. Uh, things like the outside blur and inside blur. The outside blur will blend the outside border of the lips with a surrounding color, while the inside blur will blend the inside color with the original lip color. Inside blur contrast, meanwhile, will cause the image edges to soften or sharpen depending on the slider value. So it basically enhanced, it's an enhanced version of the uh, layered image editor in Daz there. It allows you to uh, have a lot more options um, when customizing your character's uh, makeup, tattoos, whatever uh, decals you have on your character's body or uh, face. Okay, you can see the inside blur contrast. Just uh, like very, very slight uh, tinges of modifications that we can make on our character's uh, textures. All right, so we'll zoom out a little bit here. Now you can see the result of our character uh, combining G3 and G8 materials onto the same character creator character. Now you can also use those same tools to customize the makeup of your character as well. Here you can see a number of examples where the makeup of a Daz character has been transferred over flawlessly onto the face of the converted CC3 character. Okay, finally we're going to take a look at a known issue, and this is an issue where a black seam will appear uh, when the texture is loaded due to a lack of uh, alpha information. You can see on our character's back, it looks like what's a, kind of a long black hair there on her back. Now this is just due to a kind of a uh, inaccuracy with the uh, alpha channel information. We have this opacity map in the uh, DAS resource folder, and we're just gonna transfer that over to the opacity channel. And what that does is that'll replace um, the uh, default one, and it'll get rid of that little uh, fringe of uh, black, the black seam issue uh, that appeared earlier. Okay, so it allows you to uh, just correct the total opacity texture and avoid getting that little black seam when you move back and forth. All right, so that's really all I want to show you guys in this tutorial. Hopefully you can see the advantages of using this uh, UV transfer tool. It's pretty much essential if, you have, if you're a DAS user, if you're a heavy DAS user and you have a lot of DAS content. I'd highly recommend getting this UV transfer tool because it'll save you tons of time uh, making your own UV adjustments um, from uh, G3 and G8 characters. Uh, both male and female, into your character creator three characters. Again, so thanks so much for watching, and hopefully you learned a lot. Make sure you check out our YouTube channel and our forums over at forum.reillusion.com, and I hope to see you in the next video.